I've just gotten more physical up front. If you look at the blueprint of the offense or whatever, I mean, the addition of plays, you know, I'm talking about the basically adding of plays to the offense. And we've added a few run plays here, maybe some pass concepts. But our mentality as far as getting physical up front has changed. We've probably just called the run plays a little more than we did in the past. But every, I mean, that question gets asked over and over again. And I mean, everybody throws the word air raid around so much, but everybody's just trying to take what defenses give you, you know, trying to put the ball in space, make somebody miss and get up the field. And so. I've always thought the kid was a really, really good player. I mean, if you look at it from a recruiting standpoint, and DJ alluded to it earlier a little bit about character and about things that you look for recruiting, the kid's character is off the chart. You know, his love for the game is great. He plays in a great uh, league on a great team, won a championship, was a player of the year, makes plays in space, makes people miss, outruns everybody. I don't know what else you're looking for. I'm talking about the inter I'm trying to cut down on them, <laughs> but uh, not many. I mean, you know, obviously the, I mean, these guys, Tommy and J I mean, all these guys, Coach Stoops' staff, this recruiting class. I mean, my hands were not even in it till the end, and so really I had zero part other than following these guys around and getting to know them. Really, that was it. And so this next year's recruiting class, obviously I'll, I'll be more instrumental at the beginning of of actually evaluation, but I will give them. Credit to the point that all these guys that we're bringing in, not only do they fit what we do and fit the need, they're all really high character guys, which is really impressive. And I told Tommy, I went around with Tommy first, the first week, first week and a half, I think. And that was the one thing that stuck out to me. You know, all these guys you sit down with, great families, good character. So I think the evaluation part leading up to that was obviously good. And so fired up about all these guys. Stress ramp up the scramble as you guys. You know, there were some perfections. Mark said this this group of assistants, you know, they're crisscrossing the country, obviously trying to hold it together. He said, I'm really had to work to pull this thing up together. Well, it's no different than everybody else was doing across the nation, right? It's called recruiting. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get kids. You're gonna lose kids. The way it is. I mean, the way I look at it is, you want kids that want to be here. And so, if a kid doesn't want to be here, good luck to him. You know. And so we're going to coach the kids that have UK on their helmet, and we're going to coach them up, and the best kids going to play. And all I mean from this point, it's about developing. You know, I'm, I'm excited to get to know the kids that are here. I haven't had an opportunity to get to know those kids. I mean, it's going to take me a while to put names with faces and everything. And the evaluation through the spring is going to be extremely important. But kids that want to be here, that's the ones we want to coach. You going to make them wear name tags when they're <laughs> No, that was a joke. <laughs> no, no, I mean, hopefully I'm smart enough to figure out names after a while, you know. Really, George, you know, Vince beat me on George. I was recruiting George. I'm glad I'm working here and not recruiting against him in Ohio, you know. And so, yeah, George was a kid that I, you know, I thought highly of at the beginning. He was one of the guys that I thought really stuck out in this class, especially in that area. And so, I mean, he, he came here early, and testament to my man back there. And so um, that kid's got, he's got a bright future. Great kid, too. What's your assessment of this wide receiver? I mean, if you look at, and I've said it throughout the course of the day, you know, and, and listening to Coach Stoops talk and DJ about defenses, I mean, defenses play a lot closer to the football today. And so the ability to go vertical is huge and so but to do that you need guys that are tall that can they can make plays down the field and are rangy so you look at the three guys you know those guys are all fit the bill you know all of them are tall they're rangy they can run good ball skills good basketball players which usually translates into you know good good job of torquing your body and, and handling the ball so I'm excited about all those guys all great kids and so all those guys have a chance no doubt A lot. I mean, if you look at 
over the past probably four years, we've slowly used tight ends more and more. I don't know what percent last year that we used them, but I would venture to say towards the end of the year, we were using them a lot. And so if you have a guy that can, that can block good enough, but also threaten the D, and again, it goes back to what my man was saying about having receivers that can catch the ball down the field. You know, if you can if you can back those safeties off and create matchups on the inside with guys that typically don't cover great, and you can run the ball better and dink and dunk, you know. And so, and if they start coming down, I mean, you want to obviously take what the defense gives you, and so you gotta you gotta back them off. But when you back them off, you gotta have guys that can make plays underneath too. So, I definitely think he he can do that. You know, judging by what I've seen on tape, you know, he he's a guy that can make plays down the field. Excited about that, and um. But he's got to be physical too. You got to be able to be able to be able to physical in the trenches. Shannon, now that things sort of calmed down a little bit, what do you what do you do now that you're going to be in the building a lot? What's sort of your order of, of things to get done? Hopefully, I start working out a little bit. I might have to buy bigger pants. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, I mean we're, you know we've started meeting offensively, and we we've got a couple of days that we want to. You know, we start meeting with players soon. You know, that's going to happen because you know everything's been away from the office so far. So we got to get staggered ahead of the players as far as offensive staff goes, which we started doing, and we're going to just meet and, and, and grind through the offense. Really, I mean, we got to figure out what we want to do here, and so we're going to we're going to watch all the cutups, get on the same page as the staff, and really that's going to be the majority of the day every day. And there's going to be a segment of a couple of days that we start evaluating 2016 guys. But that's really what spring's about. You know, I mean, it's a little bit different here now because we got to grind through. It's going to take us a little longer probably than if we've been together for a year or so. Obviously, that spring going through cut-ups will, will be a little faster. But we're going to really um, dissect what's good or what's bad versus what we did at West Virginia versus even what they did here last year, which there's a lot of carry over with that because I've known Neil for a while too. And so but that's 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 the number one thing. Getting everybody on the same page and then getting the communication and everything set with players and then obviously leading up in the spring you want to start spring practice day one where at least our communication and everything we're on the same page, we're speaking the same language.